in the foothills of the Tobacco Root Mountains, where civilization sits on the edge of the wild. Damn. This is definitely not what I wanted to see. Trouble is brewing. Sure enough, this is lion track. I got a call from a concerned citizen. She said that she actually uh, spotted a lion going through her yard, and this is not a good thing. It looks to me like uh, Tom. That's just too big to be a uh, female. I've got driveway here. I've got another driveway right there. We've got people with families down here. We've got houses all over the damn place. And I've got cat tracks headed right down this damn driveway here. This is definite worst case scenario. We've got lions down with the people. While Jake takes his job of pushing mountain lions away from livestock seriously. The last thing we want is getting them mixed up and with the livestock down below. Good girl, bye -bye. When they encroach upon the outskirts of town, the pressure to succeed is even greater. Everybody and their dog's about to get up and go to work, so I need to get these dogs on this cat as fast as I can and get it pushed the heck out of here before everybody wakes up. Come on, doggos. Gonna dump every dog I got today. Girl, tricky. All right, let's go find this kitty. Come on, dogs. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is, hunt him up, good girl, good girl. The tracks are so fresh that the team immediately locks onto the scent. There you go. The chase will continue until the team catches up to the cat and forces it out of the area. Hopefully these dogs can turn this cat and get him up onto the mountain, because right now he's headed right for the city. What is going on out there? That's absolutely weird. I can hear these dogs just across the canyon here. And they're working back and forth, up and down and sideways, which is really unusual. These dogs are all screwed up and headed in all different directions right now. Oh, wow. That's a bobcat. Jake's team has a cat on the run, but it's the wrong target. Those dogs actually just switched off on me. They must have crossed this track, and it smelled a little bit fresher to them, so they went ahead and picked this one up. This is definitely not what I was looking for. This is a big time hang up. Hey, dogs, settle down, settle down. Good Lord. Hey, settle down. Stay out of there. They've got this bobcat caught. Looks to me like a big female. Good dog. Good dog. This is a nice bobcat. They did good. They caught a cat, and uh, that's what I've trained them to do, but. This bobcat's no concern to the people down below. It might eat some chickens or something, but it's not going to affect anybody down below. So I'm going to pull the dogs off right now. We've got a job to take care of, and uh, this isn't it. Let's go! Hey, Lila, let's go! Hey, Marley, Trixie! We got a line to get after. Come on! Let's go, dog! To clear the bobcat scent, Jake's retracing the team's steps back to their last encounter with the lion. I've got a lion track headed this way, going down this other ridge here, which is exactly what I need. Good girl, Marmar. Lefty, here it is. Hunt him up. Good girl, Marmar. Good dog. Human lives are being threatened today, so I've got no time to waste here. The sound of those hounds blowing up in the top of that tree has my heart pumping. The dogs are absolutely blowing up. They definitely like what they see. Last thing I want to do is have this cat jump, so I'm going to work in quietly. Oh, yeah. That is a big cat. And this cat's definitely full grown. This guy's a trained killer. That's for damn sure. That's 150 plus pound Tom. This is the last thing you want running down in town. He's gonna jump. Hey, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't, don't, don't! Stay up there! Stay up there! Oh, no, no! No, 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 no! 
Jake's racing against the fear that his team is outmatched. Come on! And could end up in a ground fight they can't win. They got him in the tree. That was scary. That was absolutely about a bad situation to be in. That is a big ass cat and not one we want to tangle with. This is a 150 plus pound cat. He weighs more than three of my dogs combined. But uh, these dogs, they show no fear. They're here for one job and one job only, and that's to put that cat up the tree. I'm going to try to pull these dogs and get the heck up out of here before that cat jumps again and we end up in a big ass battle. Hey, dogs, we're done. Come on, let's go. Come on, hey. The lion's got the message for now. Marlene, come on, baby girl. But it's come at a cost. Mar Mar. Oh. This ain't good. I can see Marlene's holding up her back leg, and she's definitely hurting and hurting bad. You ain't doing so hot, are you? Come here. Come here, baby girl. Man, I do not like the looks of that. I don't know if she got bit or swiped, but uh, it's bleeding pretty good. It's swollen bad. I pray to God that it ain't broken or anything. This is not only a problem, this could be a season ender for Marlene. Come on, doggos. We're going straight to the vet clinic as fast as I can get there. Come on, dog. Come on. It's a moment of truth for Marlene. Come on, baby girl. Let's get in here and get mom to fix you up. The clinic is run by Jake's girlfriend, Annika Ward. Oh, God. Who's a veterinarian. We need some assistance. OK. Put her on the table. You wrapped it. I wrapped it to uh, try to keep all the dirt and stuff off it. It was bleeding pretty good. Got to the tree, and big mountain lion decided to jump out of it. And they got in a big squabble with the dogs. And uh, I'm really worried that this tendon right here on that leg yeah. is actually snapped. That or possibly a break in the leg here. All right, let's get an x-ray. That's going to be our first step. And then we'll go from there. Hey, my boy. Okay. Okay. For Marlene, to see her hurt like this definitely uh, tears me up. This is my top dog, one of my best friends and family members. So this is going to show us the radiograph of the bone to see what the problem is. Well, that's encouraging. Right off the bat, I'm not seeing any major broken bones. What are you thinking next? We just need to get her flushed out and cleaned up a little bit. We could flush it, clean it, stabilize it, and see what the next 24 hours bring. But I'd say she's hella lucky. Well, that's what I, exactly what I wanted to hear. OK. All right, let's go put her under I'll anesthesia then. Marlene's avoided a break, but she's not out of danger until her wounds are sterilized. We've got open puncture wounds that were caused by a cat. These cats are full of bacteria, and they will get these dogs infected. So it needs to be cleaned out and cleaned out very well. Now that I look closer, we got a few scrapes here, but we got a laceration to the paw pad. That's a nasty one. You can actually see the meat sticking right through the paw. Had yeah, a hell of a day today, that's for damn sure. I mean, she did her job, but it damn sure cost her. Marlene was actually named after uh, my best friend's grandma. All right, she's coming back out of it. She's the best dog I've had. She's the best dog I probably will ever own. You coming back too, Marmar? Yeah, you're going to be a little sore. Good girl. Mm -hmm. OK. I'm going to take you home. I'm going to take you home, Marmar. You think of that, baby girl? There you go. Marlene's my all-around do-all dog. With her being out, it's time for these young dogs to step up. With this many cats in the area, I've got no other choice 